So when I get a jump E. Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Disney. If you're not new here, did you know that that red button, just the one that says subscribe, when it's red, it's really distracting. I'm trying to look here and I'm like, oh, that button, it's so red. So uh, if you would be a darling and just hit that for me, turn it gray, great. Thank you. I'm a loser, I know, okay? And let's just get in here. Today I've got a boxy one box. May's boxy unboxing. So, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Boxu is a monthly subscription box full of Japanese snacks. Not affiliated, not associated. Boxu doesn't know or care that I exist. That's it. I'm just a subscriber just like anyone else. My hands feel really dry, but I don't want to stop recording and go get some moisturizer. So I'm just going to put this here where you can't see. And look over here where I can't see. And right here on top, there's going to be a little magazine and a card. The card, oh that's cute. It's a little thank you and a little blurb about the theme. I have a reading disability, so I don't read these out. There's also a magazine that has the theme, and what is this theme? Boxu. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, so not only do I have a reading disability, I'm also totally useless when it comes to Japanese pronunciations. I try, but I don't have anyone teaching me, and it's just, it's difficult. So, um,. Sometimes I give up and I just hold it up like this and I say, there you go. Anyway, inside there is a, where did you just go? A little hello, there's a map of where all the snacks are from. I think that's cool. There is somewhere in here a vocabulary lesson. Am I a liar? There it is. Vocabulary lesson. And it's also got little blurbs about each of the snacks. Again, because of my reading disorder, I, uh... Sometimes I read the whole thing. I always try to read the whole thing. Um, sometimes I don't, though. It lists allergens, and I will always read those out loud. So, here we go. First up is tea. Uji genmaicha, ooh. Uji genmaicha tea. Genmaicha is a green tea prepared with roasted rice for a nutty flavor. It's grown in Uji City, Kyoto, which is known for its high quality tea production. So there are brewing instructions that I never follow. Uh, and I don't actually try the teas in these videos. I unbox three different Japanese snack boxes. They all come with beverages. So I save those all up and I do them in one video over on my Patreon. I think this is the last one I need for maize. So it's actually coming fairly soon. Next. Kabukige rice crackers, shikuasa salt. Nice. These Okinawa exclusive fried rice crackers are crispy, airy, and deliciously coated with soy sauce and shikuasa. Shikuasa is a citrus fruit native to the Ryukyu Islands, also known as a flat lemon, really, due to its sour juice. Okay, fascinating. <laughs> I really like shikwasa, so give me a second here. Um, common allergens are fish, wheat, and soy. Also contains alcohol. Fascinating. Mm. 
They look like little turtle crackers. That was good. Um, it's crunchy. It's rice crackery. It's citrusy, but not as citrusy as I would have liked it to be. Shikawas is kind of like a... Like if a lime had flavor. <laughs> not really sweet like a key lime, but not as bitter as a normal lime. Kind of like if lime and lemon had like a baby. Kind of. I wish there was more of that flavor here. I don't taste a lot of, uh, it said soy sauce. Did it say soy sauce? Am I not paying attention? Soy sauce. Um... If it is soy sauce, it's super sweet, and I don't know. I don't love those. I don't hate those. So next we've got something that's right here. Oh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> Potato snack curry flavor. Not quite a chip. These crackers are potato based, which makes them perfect for this crispy and aromatic curry seasoning. Common allergens are wheat and soy. I love curry. I love it so much. Ooh, they're in one piece. Sometimes they are not. Oh, the box who comes wrapped in bubble wrap for the most part, so. I really like curry. I just sit here and eat curry flavored things all day. It's very salty though. I like these. Love curry. Obviously, I think I've said it a trillion times already. It's a little bit salty. And it's very crunchy. Um, yeah, the potato, it just fits. It's just like eating crunchy curry, like a crunchy potato curry, which sounds disgusting when I say it like that, but it's really tasty. <laughs> Next, Shin Kabuki rice crackers, fried rice crackers. Kabu Kige is one of Japan's most popular types of rice cracker. They are fried and flavored with sweet soy sauce. Um, the package is depicting kabuki perform a kabuki kab the packaging depicting a kabuki performance. Um, common allergens are tree nuts, wheat, and soy. And because it just says tree nuts and doesn't tell me which tree nuts, it's time to introduce the box. The box is where I put things like tree nuts and other things that I'm allergic to. Also things that I really hate or things that I've already tried a hundred times before. Um... From the box, it goes to friends, family, people who enjoy snacks. Next up, it's Country Mama Matcha Chocolate. Country Mama cookies are beloved for their rustic, almost homemade feel. These treats are stuffed with chocolate chip cookies and matcha crafted by top-ranking tea masters. Common allergens are milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. So, one of Boxu's competitors, Sakurako, I also unbox. And their May box was mochi and matcha, or matcha mochi. And I made the horrific mistake of being perfectly honest. I don't much care for matcha. 
Calm down. Calm down. I've never gotten so many dislikes in such a short time period. Just a friendly reminder, not liking a flavor is not a racial slur. I just don't like certain flavors. Like matcha. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Just calm down. And it's pasty. That was a cookie. I guess it's it's super soft and it's all pasty and stuck in my teeth and I don't like that. And I mean, it's not too horribly bitter, which is what I dislike about matcha. It's just it's just too bitter. I know it's supposed to be used to like balance out the super sweetness of other things, but I don't much care for it. And as for this cookie, I found it pasty, I think is the word. Another one. Sometimes Baksu gives you doubles, not of everything, but of the occasional small thing. In the box. Ooh, nice. Okay, hang on. Takoyaki packs. I love these. Uh, takoyaki tape. T-E-I. Corn puffs. Takoyaki is a classic Japanese street food of fried wheat balls with octopus inside and topped with... were uh... And Ancestry DNA says that I'm 40% English, okay? So don't get offended that I can't pronounce the Japanese. Topped with that and... Uh, like corn puffs packed with tangy flavor. Common allergens are milk, fish, wheat, and soy. Also contains mollusk and shellfish. I kind of stumbled over some things there. I got distracted with the word shishishishishishire. So, you can just, uh, if I can get it right. glance over that yourself. Mm. So, fun story. I love these kind of takoyaki puffs and takoyaki like uma- or takoyaki umaibo. Um, but like this, this seasoning, I really like it. savory, but like that sweet and savory and these have the underlying like corn flavor. So the other half of that funny story is that I don't actually like takoyaki. I got a chance to try it and I, I just didn't care for it. I think the biggest thing is that I don't like mayonnaise. Like, if it's... I don't know how to explain it. It's, like, situational. If it's, like, on a hamburger, that's okay, but, like, as a general topping on stuff, not really my thing. And the takoyaki that I tried had mayonnaise on top. So, I would be willing to try actual takoyaki again with different toppings. But I really love this, like, spice flavor. This seasoning mix. That seasoning mix. Ooh. 
Ooh. I can read almost enough hiragana to think that this might be yuzu. Candied yuzu. Candied yuzu peo. Yay! I can read the word yuzu. It makes me so happy. Okay. Candied yuzu peel. Yuzu is rarely eaten alone, but this treat transforms yuzu into something fantastically chewy. The candying process brings out yuzu's sweetness. Try it as a snack or even as a delicious cocktail garnish. Uh, no common allergens. So one time I managed to get my hands on just a fresh yuzu. And I cut it and I took a big bite. I just wanted to see. And it was, it was just so, you know? But the candied peel is so good. I've had like specifically this one before and then when I got the fresh yuzu, I did this to its peel and ours didn't work quite the way that this does because it's just, oh gosh, so good. Mm. It's sweet, it's sour, it's beautifully textured. It's perfectly balanced between the sweet candying process and the super, super sour yuzu. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to just like bite a yuzu because now I have like a reference. I love it. <laughs> Next. Hojicha Roasted Green Tea Financier. So weird. Uh, this cake is packed with the rich flavor of twice roasted hojicha green tea uh, with notes of chocolate, caramel, and fruity black tea. Hojicha adds a deep, complex flavor to a stunning and soft cake. Common allergens are milk, eggs, tree nuts, wheat, and soy. Aww. So, I don't like this kind of cake, but I do like hojicha. But it's listed as tree nuts, so it's got to go in the box anyway. Sweet Mermaid. Sweet Mermaid was named after a beloved yacht that inspired Japanese citizens as that <clears throat> that inspired Japanese citizens as it sailed in the 1960s. This pastry shape is meant to look like a ship with a rising sun. It's fluffy, moist, and filled with delicious white bean paste. Uh, common allergens are milk, eggs, wheat. Um, um, it doesn't, it doesn't really look like anything. Does it look like something with the light on it? I feel like if there was something it would go this way. It's super soft. It's like creamy. It's kind of pasty, but I mean, bean paste is gonna be pasty. <sighs> creamy is the word I'm going to use here. I'm not sure what it's supposed to taste like. I guess it's just supposed to taste like white bean. I like it. I don't normally like this sort of thing. There's so much bean paste and just like this thin little layer of uh, pastry. Mm. Ooh. 
chocolate banana lang de chat. A chocolate banana lang de chat holds a rich banana, sweet, creamy, holds a rich banana, sweet, creamy sandwich between two crispy chocolate biscuits. Um, it's cookie one snack madness competition in March 2021. Cool. Common allergens, milk, eggs, wheat, and soy also contains alcohol. I love cat tongue cookies. In case anyone was wondering. Lang de chat, it's cat tongue. I don't know where they get cat tongue from. The best I can figure is this. This is supposed to represent the, the cat. You know how cats... Is that why? Hmm? Lang de chat. Hmm? Chocolate banana. Mm. Mm. That was absolutely heavenly. It had the cookie crunch and then the knee cream was just perfectly creamy and melty. And my camera says that it wants me to plug it in. It's just so good. And as for the banana flavor, mm, it's not quite banana cillin, but it's not quite pureed a banana. It's kind of, it's closer to pureed banana than it is to banana cillin, but it's not quite there. Where it is, is in the range of absolutely fantastic. I love it. Absolutely adore this. And plug it in the camera. Black sesame cookie. This perfectly baked cookie is borderline savory. Black sesame seeds are kneaded through the dough, adding texture, flavor, and a nutty aroma. Uh, love the shortbread-like texture and buttery finish. Common allergens are milk, eggs, and wheat. You can really taste the black sesame. It does. It has this like beautiful nutty kind of flavor. The texture is really interesting. It's like a shortbread butter cookie, but with like little crunchy bits. I really like this. Mm. So that was really good. And here's another one of those. Yay! Another cat tongue cookie. Kanagawa Fujino Yuzu Jelly. Um, yuzu, favorite fruits. This jelly perfectly encapsul encapsulates the essence of this beautiful fruit. Try chilling it in the fridge for a refreshing experience. Common allergens? None. I don't try jellies on this channel. I also do that once a month over on Patreon. Another takoyaki pops. I am pleased.
Oh, whatever this thing is. Fascinating. That's what this thing is. And right here is also what this thing is. Chocolate Azuki Bean Uji Matcha. Try this modern twist on a traditional Japanese snack. Um, no, um, Amanato. Sweet Hokkaido red beans are dipped in white chocolate and uji matcha from Kyoto. Tiny treats are endlessly snackable. Common allergens, milk, and soy. Fascinating. The Yuzuki bean is a weird texture. It's not crunchy, it's not squishy either, it's like firm but nice. Um, the white chocolate coating was so weird, like texturally, it was like melty, but still got that like, you know, that give that white chocolate has, so weird. And then they went and ruined the whole thing with matcha. So when you eat it, the first thing you're hit with is this disgusting bitter taste. And then you get this really sweet chocolate hit. And then the bean itself is like a like a sweet earthiness. I'm gonna finish them, but I wouldn't go looking for them. Two of them. A singular mochi. Probably some kind of daifuku. Kalpiko mochi. Flavored with the popular Japanese drink Kalpiko, or Kelpis. I like Kelpis better, it amuses me. Uh, the outside layer of this mochi is a sweet rice cake, while the inside is a marshmallow layer covered, covering the Kalpiko flavored jam center. Common allergens, milk, eggs, and soy. I like Calpico. That really does taste like uh, Calpico. If you've never had a Calpico beverage, then I, I don't know how to describe it to you. It's sweet and milky and a little bit sour, but not like sour milk. Totally different than that. A little bit like if you added lemon to milk, but in a way that didn't make anything curdle. Mm. Plus the sticky, squishy mochi flavor texture. And I found that in things like this, that marshmallow layer doesn't really taste like anything. It just kind of exists, from my experience. These are good. I would actively seek these out. <laughs> Before I forget, you can get all this stuff on the Boxu Marketplace. Go to the Boxu website and you can just buy like individual snacks. So. And. Another cup of kamochi. And... Nope, that wasn't everything. Ooh, nice. 
Mochi Truffle Rich Strawberry. These chewy chocolate mochi have a sweet and sour strawberry filling at the center. There are eight tasty pieces in each box, and it comes with a small toothpick for easy eating. Uh, common allergens are milk and soy. Also contains alcohol. I love these. They're awesome. They come in. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Couldn't you just throw that in a lunch bag? If I didn't like matcha bitterness, imagine how much I'm loving this cocoa bitterness. But once you get past that, it's really nice. They're not my favorite, but once you're past that bitter outer powder shell, and into like the inside and like the strawberry cream and stuff. It's okay. It's another one of those, I don't think I would go looking for this. But uh, I have had other flavors of this brand and they've been really good. And I believe that that was everything. In what I can only assume is May's Boxu. So, I don't know, I really liked this one. Got some serious positives on this one. And some stuff that I didn't care for. So, that was everything in May's Boxu. Like I said, I do the tea and the jelly over on my Patreon, and if you've made it this far in this video, oh my god, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. Are you subscribed? And with all of that, uh, all that's left to say is, don't forget to subscribe and like this if you like this, comment anything at all you want to say. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm more active on Twitter than Instagram, just putting that out there. And plug in my Patreon one more time, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Is my hair different?